So today we are doing a wheel skate exercise with a group of ladies from the fleet function. A wheel skate exercise is where we practice fitting a wheel skate so that we're ready for a incident on the main line. So we'd use a wheel skate when we've got a wheel flap or damage to the axles that means that it needs to be moved in a safe condition at slow speed. As EMR, we've been called out to a number of incidents for International Women in Engineering Day. The theme is Together We Engineer. So we've got enough women in the fleet that we could do this and it seemed like a really good way of showcasing our skill set. So International Women in Engineering Day is really important to me um, so that we can uh, make sure that there's visibility of uh, the, the roles that women play in engineering, especially in the rail industry. Young girls, young women can see that they can do these jobs as well. Working in an all-women team, it's so rare that that happens um, in my uh, working life. To be working with different women from across the business as well, so some from my own team, but others from the, uh, from the depots as well. I always wanted to do engineering and then I ended up coming here and did an apprenticeship here and the people you're just so easy to get on with and so supportive and we just ended up becoming like a little family. I got asked to do it for the women in rail and I think it's a good, a good thing to have more women involved in mainly men dominated workplaces. It's very easy, it's like day to day is just, there's no complications here, you come to work and you've got a support system and it's just, it's just easy, it's nice. So I decided to get involved in today's event with the Wheelscape because I usually work in operations, I've done a lot of work in our customer experience teams and frontline and this is a side of the industry that I never normally get to see. It's a great opportunity to celebrate the women that we have in our engineering team and to do something a little bit different and gain a bit of a better understanding of sort of the nitty gritty that goes into our industry and making our trains run on time. It's fantastic to see that the industry is shifting to be more reflective of that community and that society that we have. So I wanted to take a career in engineering because, you know, as a kid, I always liked taking things apart, putting them together, but I didn't realise that this was an industry I could get into being a woman and, you know, it just wasn't available at the time. So I decided to become an engineering apprentice later in life. <laughs> things that I'm looking forward to most today are probably, you know, getting really getting to grips with everything about the train and how to make it safe if this was like out on the main line somewhere I know I'd feel confident on what I'm doing.